Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Objects 5 for Part 3 of Module 1. And we've got two rather similar problems. Remove even values, and then at the end we have remove odd values. And then in between we have count number of keys. Now, we're going to take a rather similar approach for the first and the last one. So for this one, they want to remove any properties whose values are even numbers. Um, we've done a couple like this, so let's quickly uh, reiterate what it is that we would do here. This line indicates we're not really going to have a return value, we're just affecting the object. So iterate over the object if current value uh, we should probably check if it's a number none of these are not numbers but we're not going to remove uh, like a string value if there is one so we'll say if the current value is number and even remove current property so we're not going to splice into the pseudocode just because I'd imagine most of you are not doing that. Uh, and it's okay not to. So for variable key in the input object. Again, variable key is going to be assigned to a string value of all of the keys inside of our object. So to access the value, we're going to say if we want to talk about the value, which is object at key. So first, let's make sure the type of that is a number. And We'll make sure that the value itself is, what do they want? Even, they want the even values removed. So we'll make sure that the modulo of two is equivalent to zero, which means that it's even. <coughs> Excuse me. And if that's the case, we'll delete the current value. So there it is, iterate, check if it's a number and that it's even. If so, delete the object at the given key. Okay, let's, uh, we'll, we'll go to this one next. So for this one, we're going to count the number of keys. So if you think about it, this for loop, a for key and object, iterates over all of the keys in the object. So if we were to have a counter and increment the counter each time this for loop iterates, it'll allow us to use the for loop to count the keys up for us. Uh, there's another way to do this using something called object uh, dot keys, and this will give you an array of all of the keys in the object. Certainly the other way to do it, and then you would just return the length of that, uh, that array. But for our purposes, we're going to iterate, iterate, iterate over the object, uh, increment count, and then return count, and then obviously we missing one step, we're gonna create count variable. So let's see all of that in code. Variable count is equal to zero. We're going to return the count at the end. We'll make a for loop key in object, or so for in loop, variable key in object, and then count plus equals one. So this provides the iteration. So for each key, it's going to increment the count by one, which will give us a count of the number of keys. We run our tests, and we're good. So this is essentially the first problem that we did in this section. Uh, let's not write the pseudocode. We'll say for variable key in object. Now we're going to check to see if the current value is a number and that it's odd. Say equals 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 number and object at key modulo two needs to be equal to one in order for it to be an odd value. If it is an odd value, we access the value by saying the object at the current key that we're iterating over, which again, we get from this iteration, and we apply the delete operator to that. So this will iterate over all the keys, check which values associated with those keys are both numbers and odd, and then delete the value. And we're in good shape. Thanks for watching this video, y'all, and we'll see you in the next one.